Hi, welcome back to Chameleon Metadata's tutorial series. I'm Eric Thornton, and today we're going to cover installing and configuring and running our first uh, Clear NLP version 3.2 program in Java. Uh, Clear NLP, NLP stands for Natural Language Processing, and um, it's probably the most foundational element of the machine learning tools. As always, we start at chameleonmetadata.com and click any of the education links. When I'm done with this video, as with the others, you'll see the video icon, which will take you to the YouTube channel video for this particular subject. All videos are on our YouTube channel. You can either click it here or just search Chameleon Metadata. And also, um, I'm trying to keep up with the useful links that provide some background. One of the ones I'd encourage everyone to look at in the useful links is the Maven in five minutes link. It uh, has some really good uh, intro because today we're going to be using the Palm XML file, which is the basis for Maven. And uh, I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of Palm. I'm going to provide you with one. But uh, you really should understand what the POM project object model uh, .xml file does because it's the basis of anything running Maven. Now, like all of our um, classes, we've got the PDF link here. And if you've been following along, you know I tend to follow the PDF because the indentation's a little nicer. And the other thing all of our courses have in the lower uh, right corner is a link to my email, et at chameleonmetadata.com. So let's jump right into the, the um, instructions. The first thing is to download the clear NLP zip file with all the templates for this. Uh, so we'll see that uh, I'm down, I've downloaded that file. It's, it's not big. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create a directory on the same location you installed Sigwin. Now, if you've been following along, we've been using the D uh, for everything. This is a new computer because I'm finding that Windows 10 with 4 gig of RAM will not run NLP decode. Uh, so th that's out. I'm going to try and um, at jump that to 8 gig, and I think it'll run, but Java's having a heap stack error and it's crashing. So this today we're using a um, uh, Windows 8 with 8 gig of, of RAM. And um, so we're going to install a directory or create a directory called Clear NLP. Up till now it's been the D drive. But the bottom line is wherever you installed Sigwin and Maven is where you want to put this. So on this particular computer, I'm not using the D everything's on the C. This manufacturer um, uses a partition D for their recovery. This is a Lenovo. So I'm going to right click, make a new folder, call it clear NLP, important that everything is in lowercase. So now that that's done, we'll minimize that window. So now we've done step B. Step C, we're going to unzip the uh, templates into the clear NLP drive. So I'll show in the folder. Um, I downloaded it twice. Um, and we're going to right click, extract all, and we're going to browse and put it right to the C and it's uh, and the clear NLP directory. So that's where we're going to extract C clear NLP and it will make a uh, set of templates folders inside the clear NLP directory. So with that done, we don't need downloads. And I'll minimize that. And we don't need that. And we'll give ourselves a little more screen space. So we've done A, B, and C. The next thing, we're going to open a Sigwin Windows terminal. And we're going to change, again, in my case, it'll be D, uh, C on this one. But again, change it accordingly. It's wherever you put Sigwin and Maven. Uh, we're going to use C in this particular tutorial. So we're going to change the directory to C or D or wherever. 
and then we're going to go to the newly created directory clear NLP and then if you remember from the Maven video I'm going to just copy this with a right click and a copy all right and we're going to generate a project that will like the last time create an app with hello world and create a base palm file so we're going to go to C clear NLP as that's my thing in Sigwin in fact let me put that down here there so I can always get to it now remember too that you want to either right click in advanced and run as administrator on on your Sigwin yes I want to keep that because uh, it can be some wacky errors and, and it ends up that there's a few things that if you're not running this as administrator Windows has trouble with it so we're gonna open the window and make it as big as we can we're gonna change to the base directory where Sigwin Maven and clear NLP is we're gonna change directory to clear NLP um, I've heard some of them you know these are these are all in the uh, if it's not that visible I'm just following the instructions and then if you remember I copied and pasted this um, create a uh, generate project statement again control C and V don't work inside Sigwin so I right click the mouse and hit out oh, all right let's go back here I guess I copied something else there so we'll grab it control or I mean right click copy right click paste and hit enter and just like the last time when I first started using Maven I, I saw all these lines fly by and I believed that uh, the, the program had crashed itself uh, that's not true so again this is a new PC as far as Maven goes so it's uh, downloading all the uh, files right now so for the time being I'm gonna put it on hold and we'll be back and you'll see uh, the build success and it'll let you know how long this took so I'll see you in a couple minutes and uh, bye for now okay I'm back that was about 60 seconds and at the end this won't happen when you do a generate project except for the first time on uh, on a PC you know the first time you've generated a project in Maven so generally you'll just see a lot of code come down and it don't I, like I said before we took the break it always looked to me in the beginning like something crashed it was just too much but you'll come down to this um, choose or apply number filter okay and we're gonna just go enter with all the defaults all the defaults and their build success so we were off for about you know a minute or so so this whole process took two minutes twelve all right now I did get a couple emails after the maven what happens if you screw up on on a project build or a maven build or for example you want to switch versions of of um, maven to a newer one if you go into the C users I'm signed on as remote on this one and you can tell that by looking here I'm remote and this computer's name is IP you know 192.168.1.161 1 so if I go into the remote you see this dot m2 folder that's maven so if you go in under the user you're doing and you just delete this dot m2 folder you won't break anything but you have basically lobotomized Maven and so it'll have to go through like it did when we built the hello world but it's bringing you know all these these uh, lives in and that's the cool thing about Maven is it goes out and it grabs what you need uh, and builds it for you depending on what's in your include statement so with that we now know that we have a directory so I'm just gonna control C and I mean right click and copy that so let's see what we did there that statement if you remember this was our zip file 
And that statement unzipped um, to here. And the generate project did one same name but without the templates. And that's how I generally do all the courses. And you'll see why in a minute. So if you remember, we've got the idea of an active directory. So I change directories to the um, new directory we did with the create statement. And remember, the directory it's going to create is what's in the artifact ID in the generate statement. Now, if you read that um, uh, Maven in five minutes on the useful link, you'll see more about this. But uh, when you get better, you probably want to change this, like, you know, chameleonmetadata.com, the clear NLP project here. You might want to change it to acmeboxes.com or whatever. But I would suggest until you get a little more comfortable, just leave everything the way it is because it's pre-canned. But remember this idea of the active directory because now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the clear NLP templates and we're going to bring everything over into the one without templates. Now the one thing that, that does overwrite is the POM XML. So let's take a quick look in that directory. If we go in here, remember it did a, a really basic, uh, a basic palm.xml, and this isn't nearly enough to do what we need. But it makes the general file structure that you need to run Java programs. And you'll see in here, source, Java. This is the part we did in the Maven statement. Com, Chameleon Metadata, Clear NLP, and then inside it does a Hello World app. So it creates your basic structure, and uh, what we're going to do now is overwrite some of that. But as you notice here, there is already a palm.xml, and in fact, let's just do view uh, file extensions. There we go. Like I said, new computer. So what we're going to want to do is copy everything out of the templates into the folder without templates. And when it squawks about uh, replacing, we understand that's going to happen. It'll be replacing. So I'm copying everything just using a Windows copy, going back up, and now going into the directory without templates. It's going to complain about overwriting the POM XML but we know it's going to do that. So we say, yes, please replace it. And now, rather than that 20-line Palm XML, we're bringing in a whole bunch of stuff here, not the least of which it goes out. And this is what's cool. If you ever use the mainframe and you were familiar with proc libs, copy libs, and include, plus plus includes, and COBOL and such, these dependencies are a lot like those copy libs. So we've now copied everything from the templates directory into the one we're going to use. Now the next thing we're going to do, if you remember, we looked at the app Java that was created with this generate statement up here, but it was just a hello world. So we're going to copy our Java program into where the app.java is, then delete it and rename it. So watch. So in here, we're going to do a copy, and we're going to go back into the source, main, Java, just keep going on the top, and we're going to paste it there. Now the next thing we're going to do is remember this one here is just hello world. It's created as part of the generate, so we're going to delete that. And then we're going to rename this to app.java. Now, in this one, what we're going to be doing is a lot more than Hello World. And we're going to run all the, this is where we're telling it what dictionaries to use and pull in. And we're telling it what to do. And we always put in an inline, at least in mine, uh, you know, I just kind of did a little joke. Uh, where I say most chameleons can't change no matter what. They'll always be lizards. This bit of wisdom brought to you by Eric Thornton and Chameleon Metadata. This would be a great place, though, to put maybe a support phone number, an email 
so that when the program runs, this comes actually out in the execution stream, and we'll see that in a minute. But so when when you go in before you compile, you can, can ch you can change this string, leave the quotes, of course, and uh, you know maybe put in a support message or you know this is brought to you by the uh, the shared services group. However, your shop does things like that. <clears throat> so we've replaced now the app Java. So we've done that. Now what we're going to do is go back into Sigwin. Now in my case, you'll notice my Active Directory is clear C clear NLP, Chameleon clear NLP decode three two, the one we created with the Maven statement. Okay, it, this red is here because I got some emails on the Maven that people were closing the window, which is fine. So if you did close your window up here. Um, in this part of the Sigwin stuff on step D, the red is only to get you back so that your active directory again is where it is. If your window's still open like mine, skip this, the red parts. And we're going to go right into here and we're going to do um, Maven compile. Okay, so let's do that. MVN space compile. And this is where I hope everything works good, so I don't have to re-record this. So now it's going and it's downloading some other things that it needs. And um, again, if you're an old mainframer like me, it's compiling and making object code. So it's again downloading all the sources it needs. I am uh, going to put us on hold for a minute, and I'll be back when this is done. And again, there'll be a uh, statement telling you how long it took. See you in a couple minutes. Bye. Hi, this is Eric Thornton, and we're back. So as you can see, the entire process took about four minutes. And um, if you recompile again, it will not have to download this. This is only the first compile. This is what's so cool about Maven. It goes out and it downloads everything the thing the uh, program will need, but to show you MVM compile, now that everything's downloaded, it, it won't have to download everything, and you see it does it in seconds. So it's that first build. So for example, if you wanted to change the inline message we just talked about before the last break, uh, you would change it in the app.java all the way in the Chameleon Metadata Clear NLP directory, and then recompile. It doesn't have to re uh, Maven doesn't have to go redo all the downloads because it's it's built them. And the only thing it'll do, which is another nice thing, say if this one changes, it'll know and it'll download the fresh copy. So I'm a big fan of Maven. So now let's look where we are. So we've got build success, okay? And uh, now what we're going to do is look back in using Windows. We're going to go up through the structure till we get to the clear NLP 3.2 directory itself. Remember, one of the things we, um, we brought in was a files directory. So I've got uh, a couple different files, and I gave you a couple different outputs. Now, we're going to have our program make our own, but I wanted you to see, so this is... Uh, if you're familiar with Seneca letters uh, from a Stoic, this is his letter one on race, uh, um, wasting time and uh, or saving time. And then the other one was that uh, masterpiece of philosophy, the 1970s TV show Kung Fu. So what I did here is there are a couple odd, oddly phrased quotes. And uh, what you would do then if you wanted to put your own um, your own particular text file in there. Just get it into a text format and um, you put it right in here and you can change the command we're about to do. First we're going to do Seneca. And so for Seneca we've got the execute statement right here. And right click copy, right click paste, now this should take a few minutes, so uh, one more time I'm going to go. These are the last plugins that based on the commands in the Java program 
It's saying, oh, wait, I need these things too. Um, so it's building it. And we'll be back in a few minutes because this takes about four minutes to run, say. But like all the rest, we'll have a timer for you when it's done. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Eric Thornton out. Hi, Eric Thornton here, and we're back. It's been uh, about 20 minutes, and we have a couple things to go over. First, in the end, we want to see build success. And remember I showed you that string. That's the first column here, and this is the NLP trying to uh, decompose what you put in the string. So, again, great place to put support information here or whatever. Uh, so, why so long when you're seeing a minute and 24 seconds? Well, let's go back and look at what happened here. So, as you remember, we had the build success when we did the compile, then we recompiled it and it did it in less than two seconds. So, one of the things you may have noticed, I grabbed the wrong file, but it doesn't really matter, because either way, after about 15 minutes, it crashed. And you should get to know this one if, uh, if you're going to be using this. If you get that Java heap space, problem, as I did, if you go to the, um, the clear NLP directory, either in the templates or if, if you recall, we um, copied it over into the non-templates, uh, I've also got a Maven allocate 4 gigabyte statement here. Now, you're going to need at least four, and I'll just, uh, I'll just show you for a second. I've got a CPU monitor uh, and, and memory. This is a four-core machine with eight gig of RAM. I can tell you that when I ran it with just the native options on the PC, all four cores were pegged at 100%, and it went to a little more than half the memory usage. So if we go back here, you'll see what I did was, remember, I'm on an eight gig machine. So I used the same statement, but I allocated six of the eight gig. You want to leave Windows enough to run, and plus I'm using GoToMeeting to record this, and that grabs at least a gig. But at least four gig here, and what I'm doing is I'm saying override the standard protocols, and if Java asks for it, or Maven, give it up to six gig of memory. So I did that. This thing runs instantaneously. And then this time, as you'll see, I did execute the um, letters uh, from a stoic one. Remember, this serves two purposes. Like I said, you can put identification information in. I just put a smart aleck comment. But the other thing is, it'll show you that all the parts are working because if yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the Java, and if uh, parts of it don't work, you won't be able to produce this because you'll get null values in one of the columns. So it's a good kind of test that everything's working good. Now, um, if we wanted to do the other one where we go back, I give you another file to do, and I actually erroneously did that. Uh, this is it. The only thing that, that changes, you see, is this files kung fu quotes dot text. And like I said, all you need to do is convert something to just a clear a, a txt file and put it in this file subdirectory. Now, as you'll see, remember we had this and this came with the templates. The running the program actually uh, more options so the running the program actually did this this is an awful way to look at it but um, I've also put one the Kung Fu one which in fact while we're doing it let's run that because that should run in about a minute but while that's going on I've also added the Kung Fu um, quotes with Excel 
And this is a new PC, so if I have trouble with Excel, I'll put it on pause, but it looks like it's going to open. Okay. And, yeah, just close this for now. Okay. So what I've done here, good. So what I've done here is, except, sorry, like I said, new PC. Uh, you're out of here. So what I've done here is I've added the headers for the clear NLP. And just a couple things. This is not part of it. The first column you'll get of the output is the token ID. And you notice that the first sentence had uh, seven um, or eight pieces. Some of this, you know, so each one starts renumbering with a new sentence. This is not included in the output, so let's just go look at the file, open, computer, yep, there. Again, it's a new computer doing things a little slow for the first time with Excel. But what I want to try and do, because... Um, there we go. Okay. And we want the text file right here. Well, let's look at, the, you know, the uh, Seneca. There we go. Okay. So we're going to import it. It's delimited. Okay. So there's next and finish. So when we open this one, what you'll see is um, each sentence starts renumbering. So this is the raw output just opened with Excel so it delineates. And we'll close this and just go back and talk about a couple of the things. So the first thing that, that you're going to need to do on this is this is just A2 plus 1, and I go all the way down to the bottom and auto number it. The reason is we're going to want to put these sentences back together in later videos. That's not for today. Um, a couple other things. You notice that it got confused a little bit on the punctuation. It seems to have gotten the question mark, but it had trouble with the period it's converting it. You know, it knows it's punctuation, so you, when we go forward, we really don't need that. The point is, with these renumberings, you're going to need to add a new one and call it token locator so you'll match all the SQL queries. And then this way we can get an idea. You see, because um, young appears as locator 1 and locator 21, but they're both ID token ID 1 in the sentence. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to close that one. And as you see now, this ran in a minute in 23 seconds and now we have uh, this one open with let's just see if we can find well I'll do WordPad I think that'll handle the uh, text delimiters there you go notepad won't so this is the other one like I say this is how it comes out raw and uh, one of the things to notice Sometimes it pushes things out a little bit, um, and you can see that also, like with uh, some of the things here, push things out like a compound. So you're going to want the tab delimiter to bring it in. So with that, let's go back. And so what we've done now is we have successfully positioned you to run your own text files through Clear NLP and get what we call the NLP decode output in the files directory. All you would need to do is open the, um, the one with the Excel headers and just copy this on top of an old, you know, a, uh, a raw one, say like this one. And in Excel, you then could header them. And uh, we're going to need to do that for later videos. But uh, for right now, it appears as if we've handled the complete syllabus of today's course. And we'll close down here. And I'll close today 
by saying uh, thanks for coming. The next series is going to be what we do with this output for Clear NLP, and that'll probably be down in the Data Sciences and Advanced Queries section. But uh, for right now, we've uh, finished the objectives of this lesson, and if you want more on Clear NLP, there's a quick tech target definition. Once again, you can email me um, or go to our YouTube channel, Eric Thornton for Chameleon Metadata and the Clear NLP 3.2 installation. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.